45, Dunswick Ferry Road, uh, pre-Orshan moving in. Uh, actually, we're cleaning, so there's some odd things out, but we'd like for you to see how you first come into the house. There's a stone fireplace. Never mind the bins. The fireplace is <clears throat> quite ornate. goes all the way to the ceiling. And hey, check out that classic fan because that's coming down and a brand new one will go in its place sometimes this winter. Walking around the beautiful stone fireplace, Wendy falls over the old recliner they left here. <coughs> She'd like for you to, she'll turn and show you the classic door, which we won't open. And hey, what about this little closet? Hmm? Let me just show you how, oh look Wendy, we have to change his handle. <laughs> So, that's a closet that's probably never going to have anything in it, but we'll call it a till later closet. We'll put stuff in there till later. So, this is the dining area. Not to be confused with the dining room. It's abreast of the kitchen. Now, note that this is Wendy's kitchen, so the mess is hers. She started from the top down with that lovely display of items we're trying to decide what to put up there. She'd like you to note the classic lines of the light. Of course, it's beautiful butterflies. She wants to take this back home to Lake Havasu, but my kids want it instead. But it does coordinate with the flowers, the daisies on the, on the whatever this is. Dining room. This is, the day, this is the light that goes over the dining room, which will be gone shortly also. As you can see, they don't match and they look like shit. So. This is the back side of the fireplace. It's quite large because I can't get back far here's enough. A, here's oh, here we me go. standing next to it. Does it give you any idea of the size of the fireplace? Or me? They're both larger than they used to be. <laughs> now, we'd like to point out in a moment. This refrigerator this will be gone. A, this is a classic. <laughs> we'd like for you to see the inside of this. Is this not beautifully appointed refrigerator with a freezer here and a mini freezer here mm. and a box of Pampers in the inside holding the water bottles. This is indeed a thing of beauty. We'd like to also point out that this gorgeous hood plugs into this <laughs> outlet for some ungodly reason. It won't when we're done with it. Wendy felt compelled to coordinate the red in the bottle with the red in the Pro XL garage, <laughs> rolling garage seat <laughs> that she finds so easy to use. So, moving right along, or up, we'd like you to note the large hole over here in the back of the cabinets. This had the ugliest cabinet that went from here to here, which was brown ugly or butt ugly, or butt ugly brown. We took it out. We noticed we had this whole space available. We're going to be putting more wood here and more wood here. We're going to leave this part open. I'd like to point out to Wendy the large Bout Hills bug, which is right here. You see the size of him? He's quite large. Those are very common this time of year. Would you like me to open the door? No, it'll eat me. <laughs> this is my view from the back deck. The back deck will be replaced probably in the spring. You note the clothesline. I'm most excited about that because I'm sure that Jay and Chrissy will love to see our underwear flapping in the wind or flying in the breeze. <laughs> or both. And this is Dutch Meadow behind us, which used to be Orshan property, but now it's somebody else's property. Yeah. This, this is a niche. A this niche. Is a niche. A niche. I'm going to play hide and seek with Jim here. I'm sure he'll find me, but. That's the whole fun of it. We're not sure what we're going to do here. We're thinking of cabinetry, open doors, glass shelving. Who knows? Get a good look at the floor. Look It'll be gone floor. on Thursday. It'll be gone on Thursday, as well as this beautiful, beautiful rug, which we, Wendy wanted to take home and put in her bedroom, but there's no way we could ship it. This is something Wendy does not know what it's called. This is the entrance to the basement. Lower area. The lower area is very large. We won't go down there because it's also very messy. But it's where you the can, other house is. You can ride you can that's the rest of the house. You can ride the rail. Here we have a mini closet which has the central back tools in it and so the shit that I shoved in it. Let's get a let's get a depth of the hallway. Oh. 
Would you like me to open the linen? Well, it's not nearly as scary, Jacqueline, without that carpet in it. No, it's not. And it's going to be a lot lighter with the new carpet. There's a laundry room whoop, slash bathroom. <laughs> wow, that curtain rod is low. <laughs> when I redo the bathroom, when I redo the bathroom, I will definitely raise the curtain rod. Definitely raise the curtain rod. Uh, this is going to be removed. All of this is coming off the wall. And these will be changed out. And the wall will be painted. No longer will the paper reside here. My wonderful uh, son-in-law, Daniel, is going to change the toilets out for me. This is the office. It's got wood walls. <laughs> As opposed to wood, wood walls. walls. This is, we don't know what, but it's on the way it's coming out of the closet. This is an entertainment center from the late 70s. The previous owner <laughs> shoved it in there because he just had to have it. It was known as the Prestwood Laminate Period. Yes. Oh, solder. Solder? Solder. I'm oh. sure some assembly was required. Interesting. Looks like the inside of the door oh, is. Oh, wait. Got to get a look at that fan. Look at that fan. Fans are going to be changed out. Wendy's got a lot of work to do. Come on, Wendy. <laughs> This is Wendy's bedroom. Wendy picked out the green carpeting herself. <laughs> this is not green carpeting. This is this is carpet pad. This is the radiator baseboard heater thing. Which we took apart so we could take the rug up. This is a view of the street. We have two lovely closets. I won't open them because they're full of things we've been moving. This is a good size room. Another lovely fan that will be going. This is the master bedroom. Notice we have wood walls in here. <laughs> and a wood ceiling. And a wood ceiling. Wouldn't you love to live here? <laughs> and another four paddle, four paddle fan. However, the ball, the globe is not quite so bad. But that paper up caning is atrocious. That's Jay's house. Yes, out but the you window. can't see it out the window. No. Oh, there we can. There we can. Look at these have been up here so long that these things are gone. Ah. This is the this is the master bath. Notice it's not all wood, thank God. Like the other bathroom is not all wood. However, this paper too will go. Yes. Daniel will be changing that lovely toilet out also. Notice that it's a 50-gallon tank on the back of the toilet. <laughs> As opposed to the new flush ones, which are two and a half gallons. A hot, hot heat lamp in here that Jake's going to love and I'm going to hate. Ah! <laughs> and note the new hardware we mounted on the walls. It's brushed nickel. Yes, because the other stuff was wood. <laughs> I'd like for you to note that these are the new knobs and Miss Wendy is going to paint once we take these off, the lovely hardware, because we couldn't find it in the in the same finish, so we're going to take it off and she's going to paint them for me, as well as the gold that resides up on the top of these lights. Because the 1970s are calling and they want their lights back. Yes, and we're going to give them back. We'd also like to point out that this vanity is knee high. <laughs> the new vanities will be hip high. <laughs> these people were not short. That's just how old this thing just is. Just short on sense. <laughs> Well, that's the way they were back then. That's far down. Yeah. Now we're going to fade. Tootie would have loved this. <laughs> it would have been just the right height for her. That concludes that our tour. That we're just going to fade. I, I would fade, but I don't know how.